Hi, I'm Spain from Rib Coder Club. All over the world, children are making rainbow posters to hang in their windows as a sign of hope and unity. I think this is such a nice trend that I decided to make a video teaching children how they can make rainbow posters using a software called Inkscape. Inkscape is a free, open source program and lets children make brilliant, professional looking graphics. You can download Inkscape at inkscape.org. Once you have downloaded and installed Inkscape, create a new document and save it with any name you like. The first tool we're going to use today is the circle or the ellipse tool. When I, make, when I draw the circle, I'm going to drag it, I'm going to click on the, on the screen and then drag it to make my circle. However, I would like to have my circle to be the same width and height. So I'm going to use the control key and then I'm going to drag it. As you can see, it, it constrains the, the size. Now, I also don't want a complete circle. I only want a partial circle. So I'm going to click up here and then I'm going to use this here. And I'm going to adjust how far my circle will go around. I actually want to have this one. I'm going to make it straight if I can. And then I'll draw there. So now I have a nice arc on the top of the circle. I'm going to go over to the fill and stroke area in the right hand side. Now, if you don't see the fill and stroke window in your screen, you have to click on here and then go fill and stroke. Now, the first thing I'm going to do change the size of the stroke. Stroke refers to the line around the circle here. There we go. Now I'm going to make mine hmm, about 20 pixels. Be sure that you use the, the pixels because if you said 20 millimeters it would be 20 millimeters would be much bigger and we don't want that. So again I'm going to go with make sure I have 20 pixels. Now, as you can also see, you can adjust how the ends of the lines work. You can have them straight like that, which maybe you want to do, or maybe you want to have them sort of rounded at the edge. You can have your corners, although that's more for squares. So I'm going to go back to here. And I actually do want to have my rounded. I'm going to go back to 20 pixels. Now I'm also going to get rid of the fill. So I'm going to go over to the fill and I'm going to just delete that. So now I have a nice sort of rounded arc, rounded line. The color of my stroke or my line, I can adjust here. Now the first one I want is, is, um, is violet. So I'm going to keep the alpha at 255. Alpha is how see-through it is. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go with 255 for blue and I'm going to go with um, about 143. Where does that look? That looks perfect. So now I want to make another arc similar to this one. So I'm going to go with the control and D and that's going to duplicate it. So now I have, you see, I have two. I've just clicked on these. If I click once, I can move it or reshape it. If I click twice, I'll get these arrows and that will allow me to rotate it, but that's not what we want to do here. So I'm just going to go back to here. And now I'm going to change the color of this one to indigo. So let's go with say 30 here and maybe 75 here. How does that look? That's perfect. And then I'm just going to use Make sure that I'm not in the turn. I'm, you can see now that it's at the turn part, so I'll click it again. And I just make it a little bit bigger like that. And maybe I'll go with a little wider. Yeah, so that's two. The length of our rainbow now. I'm going to just go Control D again. And this one and this has to be blue. So blue is going to be zero and then zero and then 255 which is the top amount of blue that you can have. There we go and adjust this. 
and you notice that I've done that click twice, so I don't want that. A little bit this way, and a little bit this way. There we go. And move to the next one. So Control D again. A little bit bigger. There we go. And this one is going to be green. So it's two by five. Here now, and the next one is going to be yellow, so duplicate. This time I'll go with 255. So it's 100% red, 100% green mixed yellow. And make this one bigger. And again, duplicate. This one is going to be orange, so I can just click in here and kind of guesstimate, or I can do by numbers if I want to. I think about 127. Again, duplicate, increase the size. There we go, and and I'll go with red. Now red is, of course, just 100%. So there we have our, our rainbow. I might just line them up by using the Align tool. So down here, again, if you don't see this tool, just click on this and select Align and Distribute. So I'm going to go with my center this way. And then I'd like to have mine aligned at the bottom. Although you might want to adjust it and you might have to want to have them sort of aligned that way because that looks kind of cool too. So, so whatever you want. Now I notice that when I align this, this one needs to be a little bit bigger. This is a white spot there. Okay. Now, and the next thing I'm going to do is just group them together so that when I move them, they don't move separately. So I'm going to go with Control G. Now I have a rainbow. I can print this rainbow by going by using the export. Now, if you don't see export here, you might have to go over to your file and then export PNG. Now the reason that I'm exporting it as a PNG is because I want to be able to put it up on Facebook. And so um, the default file type for um, for Inkscape, you can't put up on, on Facebook. So, But if you're just going to print it, you don't need to do this step. So now to export, I'm going to go with, pick my location, I'll put mine in, and then I'll maybe do Call mine um, rainbow. rainbow one. Okay. You could name it whatever you like, but it's better not to have spaces in the name and also make sure that it has a PNG at the end. So I'm calling my rainbow one. Save. And then once I have selected that, it still hasn't exported until I click the export button. So make sure everything is selected and then click export and then you have your rainbow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have all the best of luck for, for making your rainbow posters.